Happy Friday morning and welcome back to Good Day Columbia as we continue our NFL draft breakdown. We're going to head upstate today and look at a guy, you know, we talked about climbing, but this is a guy that Mel Kuyper said the second best player in this 2014 draft. That guy is Sammy Watkins, the wide receiver of Clemson, and I'm going to show you what makes him so special. First of all, I got the spread drawn up right here. Four wide receivers is what he ran at Clemson. Chad Morris, that's what they do. Here's Sammy Watkins. If you remember from yesterday, this is where Bruce Ellington lines up a lot. Sammy Watkins lines up in that slot. Why? Because they try to get so many ways to get this guy the football. As you can see right here, three things that I wrote down. One is speed. Number two is hands. And number three is return skills. This guy has such great acceleration. You get him isolated one-on-one -on -one with this guy. They run a lot of what we call bubble screens. This guy runs down the field. He clears his corner out. They run a lot of bubble screens right here to Sammy Watkins. He'll loop it out here. Why? Because it creates one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Another thing he does well when we talk about speed, this right here, just a flat, we call this a nine route. That's just a go route straight down the field. Why? Because this guy probably runs somewhere in the sub 4 3 4 5 He has great Speed. Now, one thing I am concerned about with Sammy Watkins, okay, because of the offense he played at Clemson, a lot of trickeration, a lot of motion, a lot of motion behind the quarterback. They'll throw the ball to him out here, which I understand. They find many, many ways to get him to football. But in the National Football League, one of the things that he's going to have to learn to do is beat press coverage, meaning this guy is going to be all up in his grill, man to man press coverage, can he shake and bake? Meaning, can he make quick moves and get off the football? Because how do you defend a fast receiver? You jam him. You get your hands on him. He's going to see a lot of this in the National Football League because why? These guys out here, these corners who are on the island, they get paid a lot of money to cover fast guys one-on-one. -on -one. So how much did he learn at Clemson? Has he been taught by Jeff Scott, the wide receiver coach, to beat one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's going to see a lot of that in the National Football League. Now, one thing they did at Clemson, I told you about the motions and the moving him around, is because they know guys, one, going to try to double-team him, which means if you got this guy here, Sammy Watkins, a dollar I put here, which is a nickelback, they'll slide this safety over here. So when he released, this guy may take him outside. This guy comes over here and takes him inside, okay? So he'll get a lot of double coverage. But like I said, the National Football League, a lot of one-on-ones. Can he beat one-on-one -on -one coverage? The one thing I worry about him, great speed, great hands, great return skills. I mean, kickoff return, punt return. But he's going to have to learn at the end of the day, folks, to be able to get off the ball, quick swim, use his hands, make moves, and try to defeat coverage. Because the NFL, great minds, great coordinators. So, Sammy Watkins, I project him finally, probably number three or Number five to the Raiders. Jacksonville got a third pick. Raiders with the fifth pick. That's our NFL draft wrap. But it's Friday. I am the deacon of the draft, the pastor of pain. Stay tuned. Good day, Columbia returns.